Hey, it's Dan, and welcome to Unified Gaming. So in this one, we're going to play Trash or Grab. Are the items in the Golden this week and the Infinite Archive worth getting, or are they absolute trash? I'm going to focus mainly from a PvP perspective, and please note that this is recorded on the 6th of April, so if you watch this in the future, the things will be different. That said, if you act upon it now this weekend, you'll be able to get all these items. As for the Golden, where can you find him? If you are a DC person, he's a Northern High Rock, just down by the stable. If you're at Aldmiri Dominion, he's in the Western Elsewhere Gate, and he's sort of around near the bank. And if you are on the Ebonheart Pact, he's over in the Southern Morrowind Gate. Now, please note that he only appears on the weekend, and he looks like this. As always, if you like my videos, then obviously like, comment, share, and subscribe. And a huge thanks to all the people on Patreon. It really, really helps. So, what can you get this week? Well, as of this week, we can buy the following. Rage of Ursaic. This is a PvE set, in all honesty. You've got pen and pen, crit chance, and the five piece. When you deal damage with a heavy attack, you create an area. It gives you empower. This is really bad for PvP. Do not buy this for PvP. If you're playing PvE, you use Oaken Soul for heavy attack build, so again, this is not great. You then have a Ring of Russian Agony. This is a PvP set, in my opinion. This is worth getting. You've got Stam, Weapon and Spell Damage, and Pen. When you deal damage with a Blink, Charge, Leap, Teleport, or Pull ability, you pull the enemies into the middle of it, and you do damage. This is very, very good. If you are on a Night Blade and you are bombing, this is fantastic. If you're on a stam sort and you streak and you get in and out, this is fantastic. So I would suggest getting two of these. It's important to note that some of these items are tradable, some of them are not. So this one, for example, is bind on pickup and you cannot trade it. So this is more for you. For me personally, I will be buying two of these because they are worth it. If you can afford the gold, you can obviously pay it with gold or you can pay it with AP. I'm going to use the gold this week because I want to keep my AP. You then have... Uh, Storm Knight. Storm Knight is a tanking set, so it's armor, armor, and max health. This one can be traded. When you take non physical damage, you deal shock damage to all enemies around you for um, two seconds, for six seconds. So every two seconds, you do damage, and it has a six second uptime with 100% uptime. This is an okay set. It's not good for PvP, in my opinion. It's more of a troll set. I would not get this. The last item in the golden for jewelry is Ring of the Sun. This is a set that can be traded too. This is mainly used on Dragon Knight. It's an old staple, but it's not worth using nowadays. There are better sets. The five piece adds 400 weapon and spell damage to your flame abilities. Basically, if you're a DK, it's okay, but there are better sets anyway, so do not buy this. So for the jewelry, the only thing worth getting this week is the Russian Agony, which I've bought two of. As for the shoulders, these are the Arch Druid set. They give you penetration one piece. And when you deal damage with a heavy attack, after 1.2 seconds, you do shock damage up to up to six enemies within a 7x5 meter line. You apply a major vulnerability to them. This is a tanking set. So if you play PvE and you are a tank, this is pretty good, actually. If you are playing PvP on a, you know, a ganker build and you want just a one set for penetration, this is pretty decent, too. So for me, I'm going to buy one of each. I am. Because I play PvE this is quite helpful and i also gank and i also need one piece sets often with mythics and so on with open soul so this is worth getting if you do either of those play styles generally if you're unsure you can only pick one weight medium is always the kind of general good to go it covers most bases you use it on lots of classes i'm going to get one of each just for the sticker book and so i'm going to go and i want to have a in pen shoulder you might notice that the things change traits slightly because of the gold or AP cost, so if it's AP, it's obviously in pen. If it's gold, it's infused. So I'm going to use my AP, uh, my AP on the medium and the heavy piece because I want those in pen. I'm going to buy the light one in um, just cash. Now I have all three unlocked. I can then recreate this if I need. The last set from the golden this week is Earth Gore. Earth Gore is a healer set. It gives you 4% healing done. And when you heal yourself or a group member that is under 50% health, so half health, you conjure a pull underneath them, removing all debuffs, and you also heal them. This is a great oh no button. If you are a healer in PvE, it's very good, because it can help just save people if they don't position right. 
it can get rid of stuff on the floor. It's very, very strong. The cooldown is pretty high, however, so I wouldn't rely on it entirely, but it is a good set. If you're playing PvP, this is fantastic for Battlegrounds, in all honesty, and it's pretty decent for group play. So again, I would recommend getting this. The other thing to note is the dungeon can be quite annoying to farm. So again, I would buy all of these pieces just to pick up, fill that sticker book. I'm again going to buy the in pen for the medium and the heavy pieces. And I'm going to buy the light um, with gold. Just because you're, I'm unlikely to use the light armor set in all honesty in PvP. But that's the golden this week. There's some really good stuff here. You've got the ring, uh, Russian Agony. Very, very good set. Definitely get that. And the Arch Druid, this is good for tanking for PvE. And Earth Core is a decent set all around. Especially for like healing or just an all note button. So that's the golden this week and that's what you can get there. I'm now going to quickly just hop over to the Infinite Archive and just show you what leads are in the Infinite Archive. So that way I can kind of do a two for one in this video and just tell you is it worth farming or not. As with my videos, if you like what I do here, then obviously like, comment, share and subscribe. It really, really helps. And I want to say, obviously, a massive thanks to the people on Patreon who help make the videos possible. They get early access and much, much more. So with the Infinite Archive, this is a place that you earn essentially a separate currency. You have to earn this currency, so you have to go through it all. And the vendor that you're looking for is the guy right at the back here. He appears here every Tuesday and he stays here for, for most of the week. And it is Fela Ool, I think it's pronounced. I had to use magic to carry now, inside here, he has a range of leads. So you can't buy items directly, but you can buy leads for different sort of mythic items. This week, his mythic item lead is for the Gaze of Sithis. This is a really good uh, mythic item, but the lead that he actually drops is quite easy to get. So it comes from the Blackwood zone. And it's for Gaze of Sithis. And the one that he drops is this one here. Padsa Shark Teeth. This can be found just in the Overland content, so in a delve, it's not worth buying. So ah. just every now and again, just check, do you, do they have good stuff or not? The other one is for a skin, and the rest of these are just not really needed. So for me personally this week, I would leave the trader at the Infant Archive. He's not worth buying, but if you came here last week, you'll know that he had the mask for the helmet, which was an absolute nightmare to get. So he can stock good leads if you check it. But I'm going to call this one here. I'd like to know what you think of this video and I plan to do this every week. So make sure that you do subscribe so you can see obviously how the golden changes, whether it's good or bad for PvP. And I'm going to say a huge thanks to the people on Patreon once again. If you want to support myself, there's details down below. But as always, I'll catch you in the next stream or the next video. So thanks for watching guys. Take care and bye.